that's how some people think of retirement, isn't it? Something that only older people should think about. But we as professionals know there is much more to it than that. People have different lives, different circumstances, different dreams, all at different times in their lives. By the way, I'm Claire, an advisor for SJP. I'm going to my uncle's retirement party. Come with me, you can meet the family and I'll tell you some more. This is Uncle John, the guest of honour. He's got life sorted. He turned 60 earlier in the year, worked his last ever day at the office on Friday, and he's got a good pension pot put by, which will allow him to live comfortably for many years and provide for his family, as well as taking a couple of road trips across North America that he's always wanted to do. Not everybody in the family is so astute when it comes to retirement planning though. Meet cousin Steve, Uncle David's eldest. He and his partner Hugo are in their late 20s. They're living their best lives right now. But it'll come sooner than they think. I wonder if they thought about how long their incomes will need to last and whether they've started any pension savings yet. Do they know about proposed changes to the state pension age? My sister Laura, her husband Chris and their children Ollie, Jess and little Ruby. Laura and Chris are looking forward to getting some of their time back to themselves in a couple of years when Ollie and Jess are off to uni. They're thinking about cruises, cocktails at sunset, revisiting Venice where they got engaged etc etc. Good luck to them. They tell me their savings are doing well. But have they thought about Ruby and children's pensions? Maybe a conversation about the impact of inflation and how interest rates might affect their savings and plans for that cruise is in order. I wonder if they know about how to release money from their pensions. Now, great aunt Selena has always been very financially savvy. Look after the pennies, as she repeats with monotonous regularity, and the pounds will look after themselves. She wants to be sure that she can provide for all her grandchildren after she's gone. But has she considered whether any future grandchildren will be cared for? Has she made sure her savings are as tax efficient as possible? After all, she's been saving all her life. She wants to make sure her family get as much as possible. And what about her own health? Has she made provision for her own care requirements? I should definitely ask her. Rupa here is only young, but she has big plans for her future too. She wants to go into business with her best friend Esme. They want to pour what savings they have into a new spiced rum brand. Please excuse the pun. And they've got all the ingredients. Rum and um, spices, obviously, but skills and contacts too, as well as a barrel full of ambition. <laughs> they want the brand to be huge and create hundreds of jobs. I wonder if they know about their pension obligations if they become employers. We could be talking about group pensions here. Have they thought about the auto-enrolment pension requirements that may apply to their business? And I wonder if they've considered other assets they may have that they can fall back on as security in hard times. I'll have a word with them later.
And here we have my cousin Megan, who, as you can probably tell, is about to give birth to a child, her first. She's told me before that she wants to retire early, but she doesn't think she could afford to. I wonder if she's thought about how much income she might need and how much she needs to save to live the life she wants. What level of pension contributions does she need to provide that dream life? Has she thought about saving for a little one? I'll see if she fancies a chat about it when she's dispatched those pickled gherkins. So as you can see, just within my small family, everybody has different goals and wants the freedom to do what they like with their money. But not everyone has thought about how they'll achieve it. There are so many options available and so much of our future is uncertain. Planning carefully for retirement can provide the financial flexibility to help avoid mistakes and manage the unknowns. This is where we come in. It's never too early to start a retirement planning conversation with people of all walks of life and at all ages. It's up to us to get them thinking about their retirement plans and goals and formulate a plan that's right for them. People often find this daunting, so it's our role to guide them through the process and help them understand how their pot could be invested to enable them to live the life they want and help their families live the life they want. We look to put their existing financial resources to their best use, designing an investment portfolio that matches their goals whilst reviewing their finances regularly and ensuring their plan stays on track. Retirement is rarely a straight path and we can help our clients make smart, financial decisions as their lives unfold. After all, circumstances change and sometimes life gives you lemons. That's why having a flexible plan that can respond to unexpected events can help our clients relax and enjoy life to the full, knowing their finances are in good shape and in the best hands. Mmm, lemonade. The SJP Retirement Planning Box Set has been designed to equip you with the knowledge and skill needed to be a competent, compliant and ethical advisor in how you describe and present the SJP proposition to clients. As a result of completing the box set, you'll be able to 